Microsoft is finally caving in and they're gonna start ditching their x86 computers and chips and going with ARM based systems. Yes, they have actually announced a new ARM based mini PC to compete with Apple's M1 chip. Yes, the chip that disrupted the entire PC industry, especially in the laptop game. So in this video, I'm gonna explain why this is such a huge deal and I'm gonna go through the history of Microsoft's moves towards ARM and why this one is the biggest of all. And of course, we've gotta start with Apple and the reason why we're getting this new competition from Microsoft. Well, if you didn't already know, next month, on June 6th, Apple is gonna have their WWDC keynote, and that is where a lot of us are expecting Apple to reveal their M2 chip along with their M2 base Max, including the M2 Mac Mini. So what I'm gonna do before I get into all the Microsoft stuff is go through some of those M2 Mac Mini leaks. First of all, we have this one from 9to5Mac, which was an exclusive leak, saying that the updated Mac Mini is gonna have two different versions one with the M2 chip and then one with the M2 Pro. Now the interesting detail is that they said the M2 Mac Mini development is nearing completion and its release date is expected to be announced sometime later this year. And of course, we're hoping for WWDC next month. But the even bigger deal is that in April, Mark Gurman said that Apple is now testing third-party apps with at least nine new M2 Macs, which includes the M2 Mac Mini, which is awesome. And in case you're curious to see what it's actually gonna look like, Zona Tech made some awesome renders showing off the M2 Mac Mini with a bunch of different colors, as you can see right here. However, an interesting detail is that Apple just released a new teaser image for WWDC, and it has these Memoji faces from a profile view with a bunch of different colors. Now, some people are thinking that these colors could correspond to the new colors for Apple's M2 MacBook Air because that is actually in the rumors that it's gonna have new colors with white bezels. And I personally think that Apple could take this opportunity and give these colors to the M2 Mac Mini as well. But now with that out of the way, let's get into the big news from Microsoft. Today, they announced that they're making a new native ARM version of Visual Studio 2022 and an ARM mini PC. So basically, Microsoft is prepping for a Windows ARM future. And this is a huge deal because it's exactly what Apple has done. And if you didn't already know, Apple's Mac sales have been skyrocketing ever since they made the switch to their own Apple Silicon. But getting into the actual article, from The Verge, you can see that Microsoft is working on new native ARM versions of their full Visual Studio 2022 and VS Code, Visual C++, modern Net6 and Java, classic Net framework, Windows Terminal, WSL and WSA for running Linux and Android apps. Basically, this is all of their developer programs that they're now giving ARM support, which means they're going in it for the long haul because if Microsoft is spending this much money on ARM, this means that ARM is gonna be very important to them for the future. And now I do wanna mention that all of these announcements were made at today's Microsoft Build 2022 opening keynote by their CEO, Satya Nadella. Now listen to this clip because it is very, very important. We're entering a world where every Windows computer will draw on the combined power of CPUs, GPUs, NPUs, and even a new core processor. Did you hear that? He said that every Windows PC in the future, we're entering this right now, is gonna have a CPU, a GPU, and an NPU. Now this is a big deal because right now, traditional PCs, you can build them yourself or you can get it with a laptop, but they come with just a CPU and just a GPU. They do not come with any sort of NPU. So what this basically means is that they are gonna be making chips that are integrated like Apple Silicon. So everything in one chip, the CPU, GPU, NPU, all in one, just like the M1 chip, the M1 Pro, the M1 Max, and the M1 Ultra. This is a big deal because I can't really see them selling separate NPUs that you just slot into the graphics card PCI Express slot. So this means they're gonna be working on building 
all-in-one systems with all-in-one chips. It can also dynamically shift the load between client and cloud. We are calling it the hybrid loop. We're bringing this to you as a cross-platform capability through the Onyx runtime and Azure ML, along with an AI tool chain to make heterogeneous targeting easy. And to bring this to life, we're also announcing Project Volterra. It's a Windows dev kit with an ARM CPU and NPU. And it includes native ARM64 Visual Studio, and .NET support to provide the same fast, familiar, and highly productive experience that you're used to. Let's take a look. So they even made this teaser trailer for their new Volterra mini PC. Now this is a big deal because they're trying to get developers to do this new hybrid loop workflow, which is basically just like Apple's Universal 2, where you can build an app and it supports both the Intel x86 chips and the new Apple Silicon chips at the same time. So this is Microsoft basically announcing their new transition with hybrid development for both x86 and ARM. This is such a huge deal. Multiple ports. Now the stackable design, that is actually very interesting. That's cool because you, know, you can't really do that with Apple. You can't just combine two Mac minis and have them work together. So that is pretty awesome right there. But the biggest deal out of all this is that Microsoft is finally bringing support for ARM-based AI chips into Windows, which is huge because now they're basically admitting that they need an NPU or a neural engine, and that's gonna be combined with the CPU and GPU to basically improve performance and efficiency. And then going on top of all of that, Microsoft just published this new article called Windows on ARM, saying that Windows has traditionally run on machines that are powered by x86 processors, but more recently, it also runs on devices powered by ARM processors. So now they're basically saying this is where we want to go. And right here, they're encouraging developers to build Windows apps that run on ARM. And the biggest way that Microsoft is making this possible is that almost a year ago, they announced ARM 64 EC, which basically automatically translates x86 code into Windows ARM code. Just like Rosetta 2, like I already mentioned, they made this happen. So they are literally following in Apple's footsteps. But jumping back to Microsoft's ARM 64 EC translation feature, it actually allowed Windows 11 to run on the Apple M1 chip. And this is a big deal because we use it to run games and apps on an M1 MacBook Pro, as you can see right here. But getting back into why Microsoft is making these huge steps towards ARM, it's because Apple was making Qualcomm and Windows on ARM look bad because it just performs so much better. 10 months ago, I made this video saying that Intel x86 is gonna be dying sooner than you think. Now, I don't think it's gonna die this year, but the steps that we saw from Microsoft today basically show that Windows and Microsoft are slowly trying to move away from x86 and adopt ARM because it's really the best solution right now. And we actually saw different companies like Steam creating the Steam Deck, which uses Linux and Proton to automatically translate gaming APIs from x86 to the Linux-based APIs, and people are absolutely loving the Steam Deck. So some gamers are actually already moving away from x86-based systems because the Steam Deck basically runs on ARM. And over the past year, we've been seeing more and more articles asking, will ARM processors become the new standard for laptops? Now, a former Mac chief of development did say that Windows PCs will have to follow Apple's switch to ARM. And I completely believe that because just the gains in performance and battery life are just outpacing the gains of x86. Now, we already see that there are a lot of companies trying to compete with Apple in their M1, mainly Qualcomm saying that in late 2023, they're gonna have their own M1 rival that's gonna be available in PCs. So they're working on that and they believe they can 
beat Apple. And now on top of that, Samsung and AMD last year tried to combine together to try to fight Apple's M1 chip by pairing an Exynos 2200 chip with AMD Radeon graphics to new laptops that should hopefully be coming soon. But in my honest opinion, I think all of them are gonna be too late because the M1 chip is already powerful. We're expecting the M2 chip hopefully at WWDC next month. And we already have rumors of Apple working on the M3 chip, which could be released later next year. So late 2023. And that I think is gonna totally outperform any of Qualcomm's chips that they have that are trying to compete with the M1. So there you guys go. This is a huge push by Microsoft showing that they're willing to basically switch all of their development apps and programs to support ARM, which basically shows that they're making a huge push towards ARM because Microsoft owns Windows and that basically controls all of the PC manufacturers. So I'm excited to see what they come up with. Now, if you totally disagree with any of my thoughts in this video, go ahead and comment down below. But if you enjoyed it, click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one, definitely check out one of those two right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.